Hi everyone, welcome to our team call tonight um, on the 13th of November. Um, our team call is on how to help hosts, sharers and builders. Um, so this, is, this team call tonight is the first of a two-part series that we'll be doing um, and we'll explain that as we go. Um, just wanted to, we're just going to give you tonight's agenda and also a couple of announcements for you all. Um, so we just wanted to, uh, a lot of you are new and will have been with us, joined this year. Um, so we wanted to just make it really clear that November and December are by a good distance the best months of the year. Um, and so we just want you to not waste these months because they're terrific. Um, particularly December. Um, it has a good 200 PV offer generally, mm -hmm. and um, uh, it's great for gifts, and it's a very, very good month for sales. So, yeah, so in terms of December having that 200 PV offer, obviously, you want to get as many customers underneath you as possible, so then you can have people to tell about that 200 PV offer, as well as having lots of classes booked in the first two weeks of December. That's always our strategy. Obviously, as it gets closer to Christmas, it's not as popular. You know, don't go and book Christmas Eve classes. Um, but those first two weeks in December are ideal for classes, but also getting, you know, lots of classes now and getting momentum now and sampling lots now and getting those contacts to so kind of lining up for December. Because if you wait till December to get it all going, it's not going to happen, obviously. It'll be too late. It'll be too late, yeah. We've got someone that isn't muted, which is not too bad. But if you find you're not muted, can you just put yourself on mute, please? Just because it can add some background noise for everyone else. Thank you. Um, also, um, at the Elise, there's an Elise Shedevy event in January. Um, now, if you're new, you won't have known about this over the last three or four months, because uh, this was booked about six months ago. Um, so those of you that are booked onto it, it's now time for, um, for the payment and to book on. So. Um, I think you added to the Facebook group. There might be a few spots opened up for people, so we'll we'll let the team know if any spots become available. So if you don't know about it, that's the reason why is because you're quite new to DoTerra. And it's for silvers and above as well, because it's kind of rank advancing tips and stuff. So yeah, um, and just a reminder of the 200 PV offer in in December. And fingers crossed, it's frankincense. It has been for the last three years in a row. So I imagine it would be again, but you never so. know. Um, um, yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. Tumaini. Um, yeah, so just um, a little, uh, just a reminder about Tumaini, if you'd like to donate, um, then please do go to doTERRA.com, our caring, make a donation, and the drop down under there is under my name, Rebecca Bowles and Hannah Ellis. Um, we've got $381 so far, woohoo, so excited about, which will be 600 and whatever, 700, I mean, double that anyway. Um, so we, we, our aim is to try and get as close to $10,000 as we can. So whatever, you know, any donation will be very welcome and you can be reassured that every single penny is going to go straight to these children so nothing gets wasted. Um, so yeah, thank you. Um, we also have a weekly challenge mm -hmm. this week, which we're going to talk about um, now, actually. Um, <laughs> the weekly challenge is... So we're starting from now until Christmas. We thought the leading up to Christmas, we um, thought it was quite a nice idea to do prizes and weekly challenges to kind of get some buzz. Um, and because these are such great months to kind of maximise that as well. Yeah, so we sort of don't have a graphic or anything. We come up with it um, today. Yeah. Um, so, but we think this would be a great way to, to get you started and find the new contacts. So the challenge this week is to expand your network in the right areas. So the challenge is to get the most new contacts you can this week. So it starts tomorrow, nine o'clock tomorrow morning. So you've got tonight and tomorrow to do your strategy or you could do tomorrow to do a strategy. It ends at uh, noon next Monday, the 20th. So after that, I need to have how many contacts you have got. Please post throughout the week how you're getting on on the Silver Blossom Facebook group so that we can create a buzz around it and other people can get excited and people can see what's going on. Um, the prize, uh, so there'll be prizes for the top five 
Um, and the top five people with the most contacts for the week will win an Immortel or a Heliquism. So you can choose which one you want. Um, I'll need to see a, a photo of the list of contacts you've got, or ideally I don't want contact 20 or 30 photos of each contact. I just like one photo of the contacts in the spreadsheet, ideally, or the spreadsheet would be perfect. Just for the winners, huh? Or does everyone need to send you that? No, yeah, just for the winners, just to, just as evidence for, of it, or if you mm -hmm. if you're if if I ask for it, um, you can just say. And then um, a contact. What a contact counts is a contact counts. That's anyone that's new. So if you found them today, unfortunately, it doesn't count. Um, it's starting tomorrow after nine in the morning. If you find new contacts between then and next Monday, they will count. Now. They are personally taken contacts. So database, lists, things like that you purchase off the <laughs> internet, <laughs> they do not count. I know how it works. That's exactly what I would go and do. Um, so that, that doesn't count. So we, we're, we're wanting you to be forming relationships with these people and getting their contact details from them. So, you know, I have, you could be getting 20, 30. If you get more than that, you're doing very well. Um, contacts in the week. That's what I would expect to see around that if, for, for the winners. So a name and a telephone number or email address. Or, yeah. Will suffice, yeah. Yeah, any, any way of contacting them. And you want an Immortel or Helichrism. And there, for those of you who don't know about too much about them, Helichrism is Nathan's favourite oil. It is, and, yeah. And it's a very expensive oil. Um, an amazing, incredible oil for healing, and Immortel has a blend of very expensive oils as well. So definitely worth winning. So we'll go over the challenge again at the end, just quickly for people that come on later. And then if you've got questions about it, then let us know. Um, you've got a business tip you wanted to share. I do, yeah. So quickly, it's something different um, to the training, because we're going to be doing class training in a few weeks' time. But um, something I've started doing, and I've heard of this a little bit before, but I did it for the first time the other day, and I think this is a really good idea. Um, but again, I'm very new to this, so I haven't actually done this follow-up class yet. But what I suggest trying out as well is at an intro class, you know, you assume people are going to purchase oils in a nice way, assume, and kind of say, so, you know, when you guys have purchased your oils, um, I'd love to come back and let's do a follow-up class where we can all come back. You bring your oils. Um, assuming Thursday's a good day for you. If Thursday was the day that you've, you know, you've had this class, you say, look, I'm free in two Thursday time or three Thursdays time. Um, are you guys free? Let's come back and do another kind of class. We can bring your oils. By that point, you'd have started using them. We can kind of share some experiences together. You might have some questions. I'll bring some rollables and we can make up a signature blend for you or, or just help them do a dilution or something. Um, so I'll do some more training on that, but just to kind of put that into your head, those of you that have been doing the business for a long time will be able to come up with your own kind of creative um, thought about what to do. But more what it is, is to kind of get them, bring your books along, get them used to looking up in the books together, address some more elements, bring a few other of your favorite oils and products to that class. So you can introduce them to some more things as well um, and kind of share experiences and, and share the buzz of the oils and get people more into the oils and more confident about using them as well. And what I'm going to try doing, like I said, is I'm just going to buy some cheap kind of rollables. They're not very expensive. And um, I, I don't think I'll say the expensive word, I got some why. No, no, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry. Um, and I've got some signature blends that I'll put up on the... Um, silver blossom group that you could use as well of some blends that they could choose what they want to make up and they can take home their own personalized blend as well which will get them into those oils and get them used you know getting into different oils than they've got used to in the intro class so that is something that i think could work really well to help people with loyalty rewards program in a really nice natural way so you're not pushing on people you're kind of giving people um, more exposure basically in a nice way and you're doing it all in one go as well and starting to build this community so that's my business tip but like I said there'll be more training on that in the future okay um, well it's Mel now isn't it it is are you on Mel to Melanie I am I'm here all the way hello Mel <laughs> thanks for joining us from California 
If everyone oh. doesn't know Mel, Melanie is Rebecca's sister. Oh, don't tell them. Oh, <laughs> my God. It's an undercover one, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't tell. Apparently, we sound the same. Quite obvious. <laughs> so yeah. there's, there's a lot of nepotism going on. And... <laughs> <laughs> We've got to be careful. This is your last time this year, Mel. Oh, whew, this year. Lovely. No more. <laughs> <laughs> So you're going to share an oil experience. Yeah. Okay, I, so this is my favourite oil experience. This is my absolute favourite. Um, and it's the reason why I got into doTERRA. Um, or, or Actually, no, that's not true. It's the reason why I got as much confidence in the doTERRA oils as I, as I have. Um, and my, it's actually four oils. The, the antihistamine blend of peppermint, lavender and lemon. Rebecca and I were at a class. It was the first class that I'd been to. And I, um, I have a crazy allergy to cats. I get very asthmatic. And we arrived at the class and I didn't have my inhaler with me. And then the lady had a cat. And, um, and so I started to panic. And Rebecca said, don't worry, I've got the solution. And I sort of laughed at her as she poured two drops of, of uh, lemon, lavender and peppermint into a little sort of shot glass type size of water and told me to swallow it. And then also told me to put the breathe on um, somewhere where it would go up my nasal passage. So I, I put some breathe here and then I put it here. And so I was breathing it in. And I did that a couple of times throughout the three hours, I think we were there. It was quite a long class, wasn't it? Um, and I had zero reaction to the cat. And the cat was a big cat. It was a tiny house. So there was lots of hair and um, saliva from the cat, which is apparently the thing that is the um, asthma or you know causes the asthma <laughs> so I didn't have any reaction at all and then the following morning I went to the gym which is my test for how much residual asthma I have and I really pushed myself at the gym um, running and treadmill and you know, elliptical and stuff and I had no wheeze absolutely no wheeze at all and so even though I do still have my inhaler in my drawer I haven't used it and um and I did two classes I did one class last week and one class the week before and they, the owners, they both had cats. So I did the same thing with my um, lemon, lavender and peppermint. And it was actually really quite good because as the people were arriving, I went and asked the host if I could just have a glass of water and I, and I put the, the three oils in the water in front of the people who were attending and they were just arriving. And that got the discussion going about one of the ways that you can use the, the oils, you know, take them internally. So it's so, such a quite a gift. I've never thought of being allergic to cats as a, as a gift. <laughs> and your allergy is really quite bad, isn't it? Like you, you yeah. can get really yeah. bad. Oh, I can get really, really bad. Really, really bad. Yeah. I haven't actually been hospitalized because I've always, always removed myself from the environment. But yeah, it can get very, very bad. So um, that's my favorite um, oil experience. Yes. And actually just for quick, because I know with time thing, but I give it to, I give that combination to people with all sorts of allergies. And every time I've done it, people have come back and said that that worked better than their conventional medicine for their particular allergy. Amazing, and did they always take it internally or? Yes, we, yes. yes they've, always, they've always taken it internally. And that might be because that's been the way that I've told them has been most effective for me. That could be, it could have been very much driven by my recommendation, but yeah. No, that's been, I found generally in adults, that's the most effective way for people with severe allergies. Mm -hmm. Generally speaking, if people have mild allergies, sometimes breathing it in is enough or topical application. But I think, yeah, internal for adults, definitely. So right. cool. Brilliant. Thanks a lot, Mel. That was You're welcome. wonderful. Thank you, Mel. <laughs> and then we have Katie on who's going to share us. So Katie achieved the gold, um, gold rank last month. Um, so we asked her this month if she could possibly come on and share with us about her little journey to gold. Little, big, <laughs> crazy journey. <laughs> Whatever you want to say, Katie. <laughs> First tip is um, give up. <laughs> yes. if you give up, you won't get to go. Um, we can't see you. Can anyone else see Katie at the moment? I can't hear you very well, Katie. Uh, I don't know. Is our volume up? Let's have our... Where is Katie? Can everyone else see Katie and hear Katie? We can hear her. 
just can't. Okay. And Hera. Okay. Go for Katie, it's all right. Your video's probably just not showing. I can barely hear her. We can barely, yeah, the same for me, Katie. I can barely hear you. Are you? Yeah, I'm close to my um, computer. Oh, are you? Okay. I think that's all right. Okay, go for it, Katie. Um, yeah, so don't quit. <laughs> I think that with, um, with this journey, we all go through, you know, the ups and downs and the challenges to work through them um, and to not give up. And I definitely... It's funny because for the before the, uh, the the beginning of the summer, I kind of had a bit of a blip. I I have another business. Uh, I was doing a yoga teacher training course, and I was just probably working too much, and therefore I got very tired. And sort of that's when the negative sort of thoughts can start creeping in. And so, um, yeah, just keep on going. The trick with it really is to keep on going and to be patient. Um, one thing I have done a lot of is I've, I've committed, I've thrown myself in and done a lot of different things. I, um, I, I did a lot of festivals this year and, you know, probably didn't get one enrollment from them. But over time, the things that have happened to me because I went to those festivals or the one person that I met, which led me to something else. And so as long as you'll keep on keeping on kind of, investing in it and putting yourself out there um the universe really does answer, really does give back um i did a festival earlier in the year and i met a lovely lady lindsay and she uh, i did a talk on the emotions and she invited me to go and do, um, do a talk at the fairbridge program which is for young people with mental health and that's been something that's totally inspired me um and then i did another festival in the summer and not one person came to my workshops because it was they're all too busy partying. Um, but I met, Chris, but I, but the one person that was working in the holistic tent with me, Christina, is now my builder, and she's one of my closest friends. And I feel like I've known her my entire life. So, you know, um, I'd say put yourself out there and just. I know it's not always easy, but do as much as you can and get involved as much as you can because that really does pay back. Um, be patient. Uh, you don't need to be pushy with this. The oils sell themselves. Um, be authentic to you. As I said, I, I was doing, doing a yoga teacher training course last year um, and I thought, oh, great, all these yogis. It's a no-brainer. Um, but I, And I got my oils out all the time in class and probably only one person enrolled from at the very beginning of that journey. But now, over a, over a period of a year, nearly every girl on my course has had oils. And actually, I'm just sampling my Yogi Raj, Katrina, this week. So, again, be patient. You don't need to be pushy because that does put people off and people will see through it. So, um, always lead from your heart and always do what's right for that person, not because you want to hit rank. And when you do that, it just happens organically. When I hit gold... It was just like every day something just happened and it, it just kind of worked. And it was kind of, it was a complete team effort as well. You can't do this without an amazing team. You must invest in your team. Um, my, I feel so blessed with my team because honestly, they're all my friends. Um, we're all like-minded and, and I really love them. And we hang out. That's another thing. Hang out with your builders. I, I did, I had a breakfast meeting last Friday with three of my new builders and we just hung out and, talk to girl stuff and you know just and that is so important that bonding um sometimes that's more important than talking about the business um make giving people confidence making them being motivational being inspirational um i think too um and the other thing i want to say is find your passion with the oils you don't need to know everything so this this dawned on me recently my thing with the oils is the emotions because that's why i started using them because i i, I came they came into my life when i was really going through but had a bit of a breakdown in my life emotionally and that is a thing that I, I love to talk about and share and that's authentic to me and it dawned on me recently you know I can't really although I work with children I do work with children you know I can't really talk so much about using the oils on children because I don't actually use the oils on the children because I don't have any children so for me to the, my thing to share and the thing that I, I tell stories in in my social media is very much about the emotions and mental health because that's my passion in it and I feel that's there's so many people that need that help so I think you don't necessarily have to learn everything find the thing that that's true to you so if you're a mother or if you're 
um, you're a yogi or something like that and, and, and maybe start on that. I think, I think that's because otherwise I think it can seem quite overwhelming. Um, invest in your team. I've said that community for me, the, the thing that I love so much about doTERRA is the sense of community. And I think it's really to do well, be part of it. You know, I listen to loads of things. I'm always listening to other leaders and I don't necessarily always agree with everything they say, but I, I, I take things from different people and then I kind of go, well, how would I do that? And so that's, I, I do invest a lot of time in listening and, and watching what other people are doing. Um, and then the other thing I've really realized recently is self-care. You must practice some self-care with this because, um, well, one thing is that we're a well-being company, so we want to look well, right? And one th and thing is that I'm getting now is people say to me, Katie, your skin's amazing. Oh, I love your hair. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm selling it without even needing to sell it because I'm looking after myself. So, you know, do look, we need to look after ourselves. We need to kind of practice what we preach, basically, um, because that shines through. And the thing is, if you're looking well and people can see you're happy and positive, then they want to know why. They want to know what you're using and stuff. And so, again, that's just a kind of really simple way of attracting people, really. Um, and then lastly, I would just say have fun. Like, don't get too bogged down with it. Have fun with it. Um, have fun with your social media, if you're doing social media. Like, have fun, you know, don't take it too seriously and just, yeah, enjoy the ride. Um, I, I certainly have had my blip, and I, but I have to say, I'm really enjoying my doTERRA journey and it, at the moment. And, and, I, and, I, and I think also implementing some self-care and some me time and, um, yeah, has been key. And also, also, just thank you to my amazing uplines because I couldn't have done it without them. Emily and Tim, they're amazing and they've helped me so much. And also, so to Rebecca and Nathan. <laughs> the end. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very oh, much. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. One of my builders gave me that on Friday. Oh. This I going to say, I don't recognise it. I don't remember getting one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so lovely, Katie. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's brilliant. Mwah. Thank you. Thanks, Katie. Well deserved. You've done amazing. And thank You're you for welcome. your tips. Really good tips. Um, enjoying, enjoying this is, I love that one. You know, we are, we want to enjoy what we're doing. That's the kind of one of the unique things we have, don't we? You know, not many people get to enjoy what they're doing. And we've got to yeah. choose. We've, we've had the opportunity to actually choose this. And let's enjoy it. You know, it's, it's, it will have its ups and downs, but overall we want to be enjoying it. So we need to adapt it until we are enjoying it, if we're not enjoying it. Okay. Over to you now to do the training. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, today, we, as Nathan said, we're doing it in two parts. Um, so we're going to be talking next week, the next part about how um, to take builders to the next level. But what I realized when I was kind of preparing this training is that there is kind of like this first part and it was growing and growing. So I thought, Do you know what, we can't be here for two hours. <laughs> I've got to split this training into two. <laughs> so you'll be happy to know we're not here for two hours. Um, so An hour and 45, yeah? <laughs> no, yeah, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it won't be that long. So basically, this part of the training, I just want to focus on how to help people to host classes, sharers, and builders okay so not just builders because when we mention the business there's many aspects of it and we actually want all of them because they're all going to contribute greatly to our business um so the summary of the contact then up to any of those types of people so even to someone hosting a class generally speaking we don't just go to someone and say hey can you host a class for me I have done that before, it's not usually very successful. <laughs> um, so generally speaking, this is the route I take. Again, you can adapt it and um, I'll talk about, I just want you to be a bit more central. So. Um, yeah, so the oils route basically is they've had a sample and they've attended a class. Now we have feedback forms that we give out in our classes and that's all available on that trainer's um, checklist, the trainer's, sorry, the Dropbox resource pack that we've given you guys so it's all there everything I mentioned is, is there okay so please search that if, if you, you're not sure where it is um, but that feedback form is, is great I love it because people do often tick host a class they often tick 
um, they're interested in the business. And if they do, you know, you can really simply then just chat to them at the end of that class, try and set up a date when you can host a class, they can host a class for you. And if they've ticked the business email and they've purchased oils, then generally what I do then is say, well, great, you know, I'll send you an email so you can have a look at a little bit of an overview of the business and a little bit of information about it. And then in the wellness consultation, we'll talk a little bit more about this. So I don't tend to go into too much detail there at the class, although at some classes I will do the um, a business intro at the end of the class as well, which is kind of a 10 minute intro to the business, which I've done training on, so I'm not gonna go into that too much. But generally at the class, it's kind of planting that seed and you're not going to bombard them with too much information there and then. That's when, yeah, you send them an email and that business email is in that Dropbox um, resource pack as well. And I generally send just the first half of that email. So there is a doc version in there as well as a PDF. So you can send just the first half where it gives, you know, all the summary of, of the loveliness of the business. So the company, the product and gives them some videos that they can watch. So that's a really light way to kind of give them some more information. So really it's kind of in the wellness consultation, if you're doing it in this kind of organic way, which I think most of my builders have come from, um, then it's the wellness consultation when really you have a great opportunity to really address the hosting part and the business part. So when it comes to hosting, you know, you can quite simply say to someone, um, you know, I can, I'd love to come and teach if you have got friends or family, and that you think would be interested in this, I'd love to come and teach them. And also you can actually earn some money to pay towards your oils. So kind of, I like to drop that seed in there as well and say, or you can, ha or you can have a gift of kind of your choosing. So they know they're gonna get some benefits from it. Um, and then of course you wanna ask about the business opportunity as well. So once they've responded to that, and even if they say no to that, you know, don't think not to offer them the business opportunity because you know you don't know you might say something here that grabs their attention more and the fact that they can actually earn more money from it might be more appealing to some people so it's important to always mention this bit as well so just giving you an example the kind of thing I, I say that feels natural to me but make sure you do something that feels natural to you as well and here um, you know I also want to mention that some of some people, and I have done this as well, as you start with a business approach, and that's fine too. You know, there's some people in your network that you think would just be great at this business, and sometimes you will go to them and talk about the business first. But then I would suggest it's important to then give them that oil experience, that product experience, get them to attend a class and have an experience of the wellness consultation as well. So that's you know, kind of brings us whichever angle you, you go. It brings us to kind of the same point. So you kind of, you want to make sure they're aware that you can either supplement your income or go way beyond where you can replace your income, make some very good money with doTERRA. Or also, this is perhaps a part that we neglect a little bit, and it kind of dawned on me recently, that we perhaps not really maximize this as much as we could is we want to suggest to people that they can just also just cover to pay for their own oils, you know, because obviously in the wellness consultation, you talk to people about the loyalty rewards program and you've shown them all these other wonderful products that they're going to want to purchase. So just mentioning to them, look, you can, you can do this as a business or you can just do it enough and I can tell you how you can get your oils for free. And that is a really good way forwards as well for lots of people. So you kind of want to ask them what option appeals to them, if any of them. So let's say they've said to you, yes, I'd love to host a class. Um, then you want to get a date set for that rather than leaving it. If, if you walk away and leave it, then it's much harder to then try and get a date. So always make sure you take your, your diary or calendar with you to wellness consultations. So you can put in a date in the diary. And if they really can't commit to a date there and then, then you want to get a date when you can give them a call so you can then commit them to a date on that phone call. Um, and then this is what you'll want to try and do. So once someone's committed to it, a date, then really the rest of it is kind of up to you. you don't, you're not going to be expecting your host to do too much. Now, you can give your hosts two options. So you say to them, you know, so obviously, you know, you want to give them a gift for the class, or you want to help them to pay 
um, get some money for their oils. And what you love to do for everyone who comes to a class is to give them an oil experience, if possible, before they've come to a class. So you can kind of chat to your host and decide between you which way they think is the best way. And the two kind of main ways you can go really is to ask the host if she can then, you know, obviously send the feelers out, get those people that are interested. And then if she can get you their email addresses or contact telephone numbers for you to then do that work. So you contact them, but ask her to kind of um, prepare them because they're expecting a call from you. <coughs> Should we just um, put that on mute? Sorry. Not that I don't like hearing. Please, there you go. Um, yeah, so you want to then, if possible, then you call these, these guests and say, you know, um, I'm coming to do a class at, at Sarah's house. Um, she's asked me to give you a call so because I'd love to offer you a free sample of essential for a particular condition and then, you know, find out what the best thing is for them. So make them feel really special and that they get this, you know, unique sample for them before they even come to a class. So it's completely free. Now, the other option is you can give your host a sampling options handout that I've just put into the training pack as well. So you can go into the training pack and click into the class tab and in there and the hosting and then you'll find the sample options and it gives a list of, of elements that this host could then go to her people and say, look, if you have any of, you know, do you want to choose a sample for any of these elements? And then she can come back to you and say which elements she wants samples for and then you supply the samples. <coughs> So that's a bit harder work for the host. So she might prefer you to just do the first option, but some hosts do want to get a bit more involved. Anything to say on that? I mean, you, on the spot right there. You're going to come in as and when, aren't you? I am, but uh, I'm listening as to I'm, you. Okay. I'm loving it. Brilliant. So good. Just bat in whenever you want. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, so who yeah. has the enrollment? <laughs> yeah, so... Um, this uh, can be a controversial subject, um, but I want to just point out that it's not black and white. Okay, so if somebody hosts a class for you and they're not going to do the business or they're not sure, the question is often asked, do you give them the enrollment of those people that attended the class? Sometimes you might do, sometimes you might not. So, That's where we're going to leave you. <laughs> That's a very helpful. Give us some more tips. <laughs> so, um, now, how I would do it, how, and how we've done it in the past, and um, is that if we feel that somebody is going to going to do the business, we would give them the enrolment. Um, but generally, I'd only do it if they commit to doing the business. Um, if not, then I would generally give them the fast start for it, and I would um, then keep the enrolment. And the reason for keeping the enrollment is, is that we could always give it back to them if they decide that they want to do the business. Um, but I would say almost 80% of the time, people don't want to do the business um, and or they don't want to go for it quite then and there. So in that situation, we would keep the enrollment. But then again, it's not a black and white thing. It really is down to your choice. So um, there's lots of different things out there, different uh, presidential diamonds, um, keep the enrolments um, always. Some always give it when they host classes. Um, but a lot of the people that we've spoke to, and it's not a black and white thing, it's, it's done on a case by case basis when you, mm -hmm. when you speak to the people about what they, where they want to go with doTERRA, so. Yeah, and, and that's why at the end of the class, so you've obviously spoken to the people at the beginning of the class and, and they've said they just want to host. They haven't said they want to do the business at this point. But at the end of the class, you definitely want to have a chat with them again when they've seen you know, how well the class has hopefully gone and you've got some enrollments. Or they've, you know, even if there aren't tons of enrollments, they may have just seen you do this class and suddenly felt the vibe and they may have changed their mind at this point. And even showing slight interest in the business. So I do have a chat with them at the end and, and kind of show you know, what, what the business is again, just remind them and, and just see if they do want to perhaps do some more classes even. So I just, so rather than going straight to, do you want to do this as a business, if you're not quite feeling that from them, you could say, you know, would you want to do a couple more classes where you could actually start to really cover the cost of your own oils? 
And if they say that, then I would give them the enrollment then. So it's not just if they want to just go for it with the business, because as we're going to talk about a little bit in this training, people can turn into business people and by giving them the enrollment, you can actually encourage them to do the business as well. But if someone is not interested in the business, then I wouldn't give them enrollment just on the back that perhaps one day they, they will and having people under them might encourage them to do the business. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't do that. Because as Nathan said, you've got problems then if someone turns into a builder and then you can't rank through them. So it's not yeah. black and white. <laughs> it's a, it can be a contentious issue because obviously they're those people's contacts, but if they're not doing the business, then it's no benefit to them anyway. So it's a hard one. <laughs> but mostly I find if they're not at all interested in the business, they're not expecting the enrollment anyway, and they don't even understand that. So that, that never really um And you can always give it back, really. and you can always give it back to them as yeah, well. So Exactly. Um, but yeah, but if they do show any interest at all, and again, it comes down to having that conversation with them at the end of the class, then give them the enrollment. Give them, because that will incentivize them. Um, and that's what you want. You want to help people see the vision of even just paying for their own oils. Which leads us on to this slide. So, say they say to you in the wellness consultation, oh, yeah, you know, I don't really want to do this as a business as such, but I don't, you know, I quite like the idea of paying for my own oils because I want to get some more oils. So we kind of categorize this as a light sharer. Um, so with, with these, yeah. I was thinking an L-I-T-E sharer, but you spelled it L-I-G-H-T. Mm. A light, a share of light, essentially <laughs> light, yeah, <laughs> double meaning. So you could set a date for their first class, um, and I would actually actually suggest, even though they're not doing the business properly, but they have two dates um, for classes, so they give people an option, and also it gives them, you know, a good chance to have, you know, their oils covered as well, they have two classes. Um, so just as kind of a one-off to have two classes, but if they just want one class, then absolutely, you know, go with that, go with one class. These are people that you know, they're not going for it with a business. So you really, you know, listen to them and their needs and what they want to do. But with a, someone who wants to cover their oils, they do need to learn the key business things. They don't need to know everything about the business. So please don't bombard them with it. But they do need to learn how to sample and how to follow up. Um, and they obviously need to start using their own oils and be confident of looking them up in the book. So there's a certain amount of training you will need to do. And I would say, you know, help them at least teach their first two classes. And this could be over, you know, a couple of months because if they're not doing the business properly, they might just want to grow into it. So even four classes, because again, as soon as you can get them confident, and if you get them confident teaching their own class, even if they're just doing one class every now and again, that's going to be great for your business as well. And the great thing about, about this niche of people is that actually, you know, if you are really ambitious and want to go to the top of doTERRA and you want to be Presidential Diamond, you only need, how many elites? Oh, 54. 54. 54 elites. You only need 54 elites. So, yes, you want to have your leaders in those key positions at the top, but actually 54 elites will get you to Presidential Diamond. It's easy. <laughs> and so if you had people that are going to be wanting to pay for their own oils are pretty much looking at that rank that's what they need they need to be a solid elite and that's when they have enough people on underneath them that are kind of doing lrp and then they'll be solid elites so if you have 54 people that just want to pay for their own oils in the right places obviously in your in your tree then you'll be presidential diamonds so what I'm saying is, obviously, don't just depend on, on these. You want to be finding your business leaders, but please don't ignore them either. You know, this is a great place to put some energy, and it doesn't take too much energy either to help someone be, you know, confident enough to do classes and, and just pay for their own oils. Yeah, Rebecca, um, I really <laughs> helped Rebecca with her first four classes. Um, I <laughs> Tell me everything I know. Mentored you through that one, didn't I? Yeah, <laughs> moving on, moving on. <laughs> uh, they need to do classes or one on ones for their solid elite. So at their own pace. So the key is for that is that you let them do it at their own pace. So you need to also teach them how to do a wellness consultation so they can be confident in doing that as well. Um, and really, you know, and again, in their own time, teach them the basics of the compensation plan. They don't need to know the whole thing when they're just wanting they to pay for their own oil. <laughs> don't feel. 
need to teach them everything. I will love it. Just the fast start and the power of three, would all, all they need to really understand to be able to pay for their own oils. And then I would suggest with these, these kind of people in your organization, kind of touch base with them every three months. You know, keep an eye on them in your organization. And if they start enrolling lots, then, you know, obviously go in more and match their energy. And every now and again, you can call them and say how well they're doing and did they want to take their business to another level? You know, so keep in touch with these people. These people could, could be your diamond leaders. Um, and how you also can help plant more seeds with them is perhaps inviting them to your business or definitely inviting them to your business Facebook page, um, add to your newsletter, oils Facebook page, so they continue having more touches. Um, so that's someone who wants to pay for their own oils and, and how to kind of work with them. Okay, so they want to do the business. I've got a little video for you that we recorded earlier. Hope, hoping it works. This is how not to do it. Now, for those of you who haven't seen this before, you're in for a treat. <laughs> Some of you may have seen it already. Let's hope it works. No. Yeah, well, it will definitely work. <laughs> this is ambitious. This is the first time we've tried to play a video on our team call. <laughs> Don't all leave. Don't all leave. <laughs> <laughs> Doterra, Doterra, you're in. Okay, let's make sure everyone can hear and see it. Could you hear that, guys? I'll just give us a little. Yeah, yeah he did. Okay, brilliant. <laughs> Doterra, Doterra, you're I'm interested here. in Doterra. We need to get some oils on you. Here, smell me. Here, breathe this in. Breathe this in. You're going to be my builder. I'm so excited. Here, three things about oils. They're natural. They're, they're fast. We need to get some oils on you. Here, here smell me. Here, breathe, breathe this in. Breathe this in. You're going to be my builder. Put them all I'm so down. excited. You can take them internally. Here, let me dump some down your throat right now. Here, tip your head back. Tip your head back. Come on. Hold up. That was the ring. Mass spectrometry. Do you have a headache? Do you have a headache? Oh, I'll give you a headache here. Now I'll get in the past. Let me hit you in the head. I'll hit you in the head. Oh, you need to get the power three. We have to talk about power three. Do you have any sore muscles? Are you sore right now? You need deep blue. We can get some deep blue. Right, you're sore. Oil. They're, they're natural. natural. You need to ask every day. You need LOV. LOV. You've got to have LOV. You've got to look young. you got to feel young. you want to look young like me? You need more energy. You need less pain. More mitochondria. Less inflammation. <laughs> You need to look young. You need to feel young. New year, new you. Terrazyme, Tendercrit, Homeguard, Mitomax, GX, PB. You're my new builder. Big hug. We're so excited. We're going to build. Sorry about this. We have no oil for that. I'm sorry about that, guys. You heard it. You might not have seen it. Did you hear it? We get the idea. Okay. That didn't work. No, I'm going to show that to you. We get the idea. People want to see it. The people want to see that. And, uh,. It came up twice because I double clicked the link. Sorry about that, everybody. And then I had a panic. <laughs> Let's try it again. There you go. Because it's a funny video. Doterra, Doterra, you're interested in Doterra. We need to get some oils on you. Here, smell me. Here, breathe this in. Breathe this in. You're going to be my builder. I'm so excited. Here, three things about oils. They're natural. They're faster. They're less expensive. CTPG. CTPG. You can use them in the air. Put them on topically. You can take them internally. Here, let me dump some down your throat right now. Here, tip your head back. Tip your head back. Come on. Oh, gas chromatograph. Mass spectrometry. Do you have a headache? Do you have a headache? Oh, I'll give you a headache. Here, now get in the past tense. Let me hit you in the head. I'll hit you in the head. Oh, you need to get the power three. We got to talk about power three. Do you have any sore muscles? Are you sore right now? You need deep blue. We can get some deep blue if you're sore. And then you need balance. You need balance every day. And you need LOV. LOV. You got to have LOV. You got to look young. You got to feel young. Do you want to look young like me? You need more energy. You need less pain, more mitochondria, less inflammation. You need to look young. You need to feel young. New year, new you. Terrazyme, Zendocrine, Homeguard, Mitomax, GX, PB. You're my new builder. Big hug. We're so excited. We're going to build. Sorry about this. We have no oil for that. Oh dear, we love that. <laughs> so some of you may be able to relate to that. Others of you won't. <laughs> um, oh, he stops. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, enough of the <laughs> technical stuff. Um, 
so yeah so that's what we do not do you don't do obviously as bombardment but you get quite excited don't you when you've got a potential builder you get all excited you're like what now what now what do i tell them do i tell them too much do i tell them not very much at all when do i call them and it's almost like you're dating again you don't know quite what to do um so you definitely don't do that you definitely don't bon bombard them and also just kind of remember that you're not remember trying it i say saying this um hesitantly because obviously at the beginning you do feel desperate but you're not desperate okay this is an incredible opportunity the doTERRA business is amazing you're giving them an opportunity to come and do something where they can do something they enjoy share oils and help people but the, again the compensation plan is so incredible that it's changing lives all the time so you've got something amazing so don't try and bombard them all at once so this is what we suggest you do so have a more normal approach Builder, 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 builder. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely not no. that approach. So basically, if someone says to, to us, you know, that I'm interested in, in the business, and usually it's in a wellness consultation, or sometimes it's over dinner, you know, you're just chatting to people, then I'll go, amazing, great. And I'll give a little bit of um, a summary of the business, usually there and then, if it feels right, and just say how much I'm enjoying doing the business and how it's wonderful working for a company that's so ethical. It's whatever you're passionate about. You know, give them a glimpse of that right there and then, because part of the thing they're buying into, remember, is you. But, you know, hold back, don't give them everything. Um, and then just say, look, I'll, I'll send you some information about the business you can have a look at, and then let's have a chat. Um, so let's set up um, a conversation. We can chat either in person, I suggest, or on Zoom. And that's when you send them the intro to the business email, part one. So you can send that to them. And then in the chat, so say this is a couple of days later or even a week later, you want to do what's called like a business overview. And this um, is quite a loose term I use. It's not, it's not absolutely completely structured, but you can use the structure. So I like to either use the intro to the business PowerPoint, that again, we have in our resource pack, or now I tend to use more times than, than not, is the intro to the business email, and I use both parts then. So now it has the first part that gives a summary of all the wonderful things about the business, and then the second part gives a job description of what the business actually entails. And what we went over doing. that about three weeks ago, didn't we? Yeah, we went over that about three weeks ago, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail about that. It's in the training um, pack. Yeah, exactly. So that's what I use as kind of a, something to have there, and I give a chat, and I chat to them basically, and I'll cover these points that it says on, on here. So in that first kind of business chat, that's what I'll cover, is the main points of the business. Um, and then I'll email them the part two of the business email after that chat. So this conversation is all about, again, not giving them tons and tons of information, but de definitely giving them enough. So I don't go into too much detail with the compensation plan, for example. I'll just literally do a summary of what's on that email that, that I send people. So that's a really good kind of um, a skeleton to kind of follow to help you know how much detail to go into. And it's just about giving people a summary and then again sharing your passion with it. So that's what really wants to come across. And, and whether you're passionate about the oils, whether you're passionate about the compensation plan and you're, you're meeting someone that's more interested in the business, and get that passion across about how this, this company really can change your life financially. Um, but then always mention the other part as well, I, I suggest. So if you're mentioning more about the business, mention the oils and the product, um, the company. And if you're mentioning about the oils and the company, if that's your passion, also mention about the compensation plan. Those are the key things. Then um, what you want to do is you want to kind of really subtly start to qualify them. And we'll be talking about this a bit more next week as well. But the sooner you can get kind of an idea of what they want to do, the sooner you'll know how much more to support them and, and what the next step is to do. Because you don't want to, again, bombard people. They just want to do a couple of hours a week, you know, and you've got them on this program of like every other day chat, you know, and the same, if someone wants to just go for it straight away, you don't want to be holding back either. So at this point, when you've done a summary of the business, you want to start qualifying. And, and the, generally the way that we do that is we kind of show them the average earnings chart and show them what the potential is. 
and kind of say, you know, where, where we are, but say you can do the business to any degree. So you can either just supplement your income over time and doing about five hours a week will do that. But if you want to really kind of make a big difference to your income, um, then you need to be doing 10 to 15 hours a week. And then you can start to really make a big difference to supplementing your income and actually replace your income as well. And then just kind of ask what, what they're looking to do, do they think, with the business? Yeah, the, the um, average income chart is very useful for that because it gives mm -hmm. a time scale and it gives a, um, um, an income so they can have a look at what income they want and they can see whether that matches the, the time scales that they can give. Um, yeah, and it's quite a light way of doing it as well, not putting them completely on the spot. And they can, with those average earning chart, I just think that's a really lovely way for them to see all the potential that's there without you having to go and say yeah. all the numbers, isn't it? It's quite... Much better to say, you know, you can earn 20,000 a month without even saying that to them. Yeah. If that's what interests them. A lot of people, it won't, but there are some that it definitely will. Yeah. So, and at some... and. For some people as well, at this kind of stage, I'll say to them, look, when I first heard what you could earn with doTERRA, I, was, I just didn't believe it at all. Because some people can really relate to that. That's what I mean by not interested. Obviously, everyone's yeah. interested in that, but um, it's whether they so, believe that you can make those income levels or not. Yeah. So kind of like with all of this business, it's kind of feeling um, what the other person is. It's kind of the vibes that they're giving out and perhaps what they might need to hear. But again, not tons of information, just enough information at this, at this stage. So then the next step, so say someone says, yeah, you know what, I could definitely do about five hours a week. That's perfect for me. Um, so really the steps for them pretty much follow what we just shared about those people that want to pay for their own oils. Okay, so really you want to get them like committing to, to two classes, you know, one class if they find two classes too much, because again, you don't want to go in too hard with these people because they just want to do five hours a week. Um, but I do always suggest two classes because it's just good to give people an option of two class dates. Um, so do that and help them to sample. So you're going to teach them how to sample and to follow up and give them the basics of the compensation plan to begin with um, and help them do their first two to four classes. So that's with a sharer. Now with a sharer, you're going to be doing this again in their, their own pace. So again, find out how quickly they want to go so kind of work with them you don't want people to feel pressured and um, people can choose exactly how they build this business so if you've got someone that's a sharer really listen to how fast or you know slowly they want to go and so that's really yeah. that, that's really key is actually listening to what the builder wants and not what you want <clears throat> mm -hmm. so you know and that's the key to qualifying builders to be honest with you it's listening to what they're saying to you and also to it's not just about what they're saying to you, it's about what they're not saying to you, as in like what they've said mm -hmm. to you in some of their questions. So some people go, yeah, I'm going to go for this. But then they say, I've only got five hours a week. Well, they're obviously not going to go, be able to go for it as much as they think they are if they've only got that much time. So it's really important to listen to them because if somebody says that, you know they're just a sharer. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Absolutely. So um, with training sharers, I generally will suggest to them, well, look, let's have a chat once a week at the beginning. Because again, you just want to get them trained up as soon as possible so they're independent. And also if you spread out the trainings too long at the beginning, they'll kind of lose it and not really remember. And so it's good to keep those trainings quite close together at the beginning. So once a week is a good idea for sharers even. But just to get those basics, so that's just sampling, that's preparing them to teach the class, it's the following up, it's helping them to teach a wellness consultation and the basics of the compensation plan and the very basics of placements you know just very very basic um, so after that once you've trained them up in that I would say with a sharer again you're matching their energy so don't fall into the trap of then giving too much time to sharers there's no point they don't need it you're kind of wasting your time um, so just chat to them probably once a month really for sharers and as needed so you're available um, again, add them to your business Facebook groups, your WhatsApp group if you have, um, and always match their energy. So again, you're keeping an eye on them, and if they start enrolling more, and in your monthly chats, you'll get a feel if they want to take this business to the next level, then again, match their energy. But don't try and drag someone or, or again, like will them to do more than they want to do. Be clear that they're a sharer. It's and one of the biggest quality. mistakes people make, isn't it? Yeah. Is, um, it is spending too much time with people that 
don't want to build and they don't need your time. They're not, mm-hmm. you know, it's because you want to help to get them to the next level, but they don't want it like you want it. So spending too much time with those people is unfair on you and it's not necessary with them. Absolutely. And again, share is kind of like those that are going to be paying for their own oils. Um, it's, it's quite, they're quite nice gifts as well because they don't take tons of energy once you've trained them up. And um, they won't need all the emotional support that builders generally need. Um, so it's quite nice. You can kind of leave them to it and just be there to support them. So ideally, and we'll be doing more trainings and placements in the future, but ideally you want to place sharers under builders. So if you have builders on your team, so your front line and second line builders, your sharers you want to be putting on your third level if you possibly can. That's the kind of structure you're looking for. Not if possible, definitely. Definitely, but if you don't have anyone in the beginning. That's yeah, what I mean. That's a different that's thing. That's what I mean. Being, but, but yeah, once you've got builders and you definitely want to be putting them on your third line, nowhere. Close and even you. your fourth. So it could be third or fourth lines. Yeah. So that's the strategy with placing and, them. Yeah, a light, a light sharer, definitely on your fourth. Yeah. So they're the ones that are going to pay for their own oils. They're the light sharers. So now you've got someone that said, yes, I want to do this. I can give at least 10 to 15 hours a week. Um, my goal is perhaps to be a diamond they really want to go for it um, so at this point that's brilliant so you say well great um, let's see if we can set up a call with my upline now this is the training we're going to do with you next week so this is kind of the end of today's training um, but again this is not a kind of a natural way that I would say it so you want to kind of big up your upline a bit not over overdo it um, but basically the reason why you want to do this for a, someone that says they want to go for it is again you want to you want to bring in someone else you want to show them the support first of all show them that they're part of a team also it adds more excitement to them they feel quite quite special but also the credibility of of someone your upline probably is a higher rank than you and perhaps been doing it longer Um, so it's nice for them to come in and be involved as well and for your new builder to, to see that but also what's really good and what you'll see next week is that when you have this kind of three-way call, we call it, that your upline is going to be involved in, they can ask more straight to the point questions than you can probably ask, you know, so they can really help you qualify this builder, um, but also help to inspire this new builder in a way that perhaps you can't as well. Because often it's easier for people that they don't know to, to inspire them more, if that makes sense. That's what we found. It's also really useful to have a second opinion on where to place that person so after you've had that if you're really thinking that this person's a frontline builder you get your upline on the call and then you say what do you think do you think they're a frontline builder they may say to you well i don't think it's anywhere near a frontline i think that's a did you hear what they said they said they've only got eight hours a week to do if you if they've only got eight hours a week then i would say they're more like a second level builder um but uh it'd be the end still down to you but it's great to have a second opinion so Exactly. I think that is the end. There we go. Yeah. Next week. <laughs> yes. So that's it. So um, let's stop sharing. Let's see if anyone's got any questions with that. Well, we'll ask the questions. But yeah. uh, questions in a second. I'm just going to, because we'll finish recording and then people that need to go can go okay. unless they want to stay for questions. But I just wanted to just go over the, the weekly challenge again. So the weekly challenge for um, this week. Um, is to whoever can get the most contacts. Um, most new contacts. So the most new contacts, it starts tomorrow at nine o'clock <laughs> and ends next Monday at noon. Um, please post on the, on the Silver Blossom Facebook group um, and then there's prizes that can be won for this. So we'll put it on Facebook as well. So just remind that. And tell your teams as well, anybody... Sharers can be involved in this if they get the most contacts. Brilliant. Mm-hmm. Anybody can Absolutely. be involved in this. So that, um, that's on our team. Mm-hmm. And in terms of new contacts, you obviously want to be trying to go for those people that are in the right network areas. So if you're looking more for business builders, um, then that could be you know business. You're you're going to be approaching more business people or business sites to get these new contacts um, or oils people, so people that are into health. So you want to be looking for people in the niches that you're looking for not just random people is my suggestion yeah and you said sites i don't want people thinking they can go and no, get just emails off of business sites that doesn't count no, either. no. But if you have a personal contact but whoever was thinking that good <laughs> idea but i got it all right so i'm just going to stop recording.